Dave Reef, Bob Fry, Jamie Howe, our entire ESPN2 crew welcoming you back to Auto Club Raceway, beautiful Pomona, California, home of the Craig and O'Reilly Winter Nationals, where it is semifinal time in Alcohol Funny Car. sound of that horsepower yeah, especially in this magnificent setting here at Auto Club Raceway at Pomona is the Gordon family looking to make it three consecutive years into the final round here at this race they do very well in the Southern California tracks and on the Division 7 area Mark Wozniak who went to the finals last year at the final race and they take a look Doug Gordon's gonna have lane choice Tony Bartone ditto when he races against Steve Gasparelli but for Mark Wozniak in this race car that's just like an old familiar pair of shoes getting set to run here and see if he can't go to back to back finals right here and obviously a big Simpson fan there but getting help from the folks at Water One and Direct Transport a great company right in Riverside California all helping out for the Waz. they'll be on the side of his new car too which we'll see maybe as early as the Las Vegas race how about the Waz taking out the number one qualifier in round number one to get the bye to be in this position only qualified 14th spot but every time you get to go up the racetrack you get to work on your tune-up and that's why Doug Gordon's got to respect the man in the other lane yep Top 10 finisher last year in the Lucas Oil Points. Dad out in front. Music gives him that familiar fist pump down there. And Dad drove the car for a while, got out of it, told the kid you can drive it for one year. After that, we'll try something else. That was 14 years ago. <laughs> Nothing else to try. Doing a great job. Opportunity to go to the finals here at Pomona, the season opening race. move on the left side and then an explosion out of the Waz's car. Doug Gordon is going to the finals again. 554, 259 at the starting line. Oh yeah, they're happy. 554, 3, 259 miles an hour. They're running very well. That is a familiar race car for them. They've had it since 2007. Running with that familiar combination of the engine. There's a great look. I saw the direct transport logo on the front of that Waz car. And great shot off the line. And then that's about the last thing that went right. Waz never got into second gear before. It banged it. A little escape hatch on the front of the car. Let go. Jettison to try to save the body. You'll watch that come out in the front there. It's going to blow off. And that relieves a lot of the concussion. Pop. Right there it was. You know, he may rush now to get that new car out even sooner than he expected. But nice weekend for the Waz. But three years in a row, the Gordon family is going to run for the money here at Pomona. And that is very cool. That's a good looking car, the MB Cabinets car. Well, we've got the big boys moving on down the road for the tire kingdom gator nationals that of course being the full throttle drag racing series where they pour a little nitro in the tank at the pro stockers it all comes your way on right, espn2 tonight beginning at Looking six eastern there. nhra full throttle drag racing on the home of the nhra espn2 okay. kurt bush is going to be uh, doing some racing there and stack i know you got more on him well, Kurt Busch will be in the house, and you think Kurt Busch is showing up to make runs. He's showing up to win the race, and the only guy to do that since, you know, the debut of the class, Larry Lombardo. Oh, and, wow. Bob, you were probably at that race, the 1974 Summer Nationals. Well, it would be an amazing thing if Busch could go the distance and win the race. There's only one other opportunity for him during the course of the year to run an NHRA race. That would be at Denver, the mile-high race. But you know, trying to get some time off from the family, it's tough. But he's going to have a very good race car. Alan Johnson's going to give him a great race car. And if you're confused, at home yes we're talking Kurt Busch of NASCAR earlier we had a chance to talk with him about racing the quarter mile expectations for Gainesville is to try to make the race uh, and once we get into the race I hope that uh, we have a good shot at advancing around but you never know what to expect I mean drag racing is a game of thousands of a second and I've got to go out there and hit my marks and make sure that I do the right job but teaming up with Alan Johnson and the Mopar guys I think I've given myself the best opportunity to lay down a good number when we get down there and we look forward to that in Gainesville The center point car, that's Tony Bartone. The Gasparelli Racing entry right there, that beautiful new intro component solutions car is Steve Gasparelli. We'll set up this pair in just a moment. The first far in here's Jamie. 
Doug Gordon told me after the last round he wasn't going to change a thing. Just wanted to be able to run the number. And Doug, now you're finding yourself going into the finals. What's going through your mind? Oh, we're just excited. First off, I want to thank uh, NGK Spark Plugs and Lucas Oil. They they help us out a lot. And uh, you know we're in the final round. I got my kids here and stuff. I hope we can uh, get it. Hopefully we can win it. But uh, if we don't, we made it to the final. And that's good. Some Gordon karma going on. Jeff Gordon yeah. just won the cup race. Oh, right. Maybe we'll find another Gordon in pit lane. Hmm, very interesting. Of course. Well, almost an incident, Bob, at the far end. Watch what happened to poor Jamie here as they lift the body. Doug's helmet's on there. Look out, Jamie! <laughs> What's the worst thing to do? The helmet's going to hit the ground. What's it going to break? No, it's, it's what it's designed to do exactly. Protect your eye. They don't want to get the, uh, the shield scratched up. But Doug Gordon is on his way to a final.